Hello guys and welcome back to another OpenShift video. In this video, I want to talk about OpenShift authentication. Whenever we create a new OpenShift cluster and we have already created a cluster in the previous video, you can find that in the description. So whenever we create a new OpenShift cluster, it by, def by default comes with one user. That's a cube admin user. However, you will want to create more users for yourself as well as other people in your organization. We also often delete the default user of cube admin and assign another user the super user privileges. So in OpenShift, there are a lot of terms that are involved when you talk about user management. The first term is a user. A user is a user is anyone who is going to log in into the cluster and perform any jobs. Then you have an identity. An identity is a source. Where is the user data coming from? For example, Active Directory is an identity. HT password is an identity. LDAP is an identity. So identity is a source where the user information is coming from. Then we have a service account. A service account is a user that is used by an application. So if there is any application that needs to perform a particular action, that application will not use a normal user, but a system user known as a service account. Then we have a group. A group is a collection of users. If I have a lot of users and I want them to be able to do something, I will not assign them permissions individually. I will create a group and in that group, there will be all those users. And then we have a role. A role is any kind of a logic or a permission that you want to assign to a user or a service account. In OpenShift, we have a lot of methods available for creating users. We will take a look at one of the Simpler methods today that is the HT password method. Here we are using OpenShift 4.14. In order for us to use the HT password method for user authentication, we need an HT password file. This is a file that contains a list of all the users with their password and that we provide to OpenShift. For this, you will have to install the HT pd hyphen tools package so you can run the command sudo em install httpd hyphen tools hyphen by this is going to install the package required to create the user file once the package is installed the next thing that we can do is run the hp password command but we don't know this command so we can run hyphen hyphen help and understand how the command functions we are going to use a couple of parameters here hyphen c to create a new file because you want to have a file which contains all the user information then some kind of encryption algorithm so sha512 256 md5 bcrypt bcrypt is the most secure algorithm available in this case so we will use that and then we want to provide the data from the command line so hyphen lowercase b can be used to do that the command will be something like ht password hyphen c hyphen capital b lowercase b and then your file name so let's call it user details a username let's say rn a password network address so file gets created known as user details which contains the username with the respective password now when adding a second user you will use the same command but remove the hyphen c option because that is used to create a file and in our case the file is already there we will simply provide a new username and a password so we can create a user john the password of openshift and another user jane with the password of kubernetes and using the same logic you can create as many users with their passwords as you want to you might want to do three or you might want to do 30 that's fine but this data is currently on your local machine you need to provide that to openshift so we can use the oc create decrate command to provide sensitive information to openshift we can run hyphen hyphen help and we have a couple of options available a docker registry secret a tls secret and a generic secret our data is in a local file, so that will be a generic secret as it says that the data will be coming from a local file. We can use OC create secret generic hyphen hyphen help 
because we don't know what to do next. And OpenShift CLI will provide you with examples that you can reuse if you want to. However, let me explain the new command to you. That's going to be OC create secret generic secret name that's user info. If you want to call your secret something else, you can call it something else. That's fine. From file and provide the file name. But this is not a normal file. This is a file for HT password. So right here, from file, HT password is equal to the file name and the namespace. This secret is going to get created where? So any secret for OpenShift authentication go in the OpenShift-config namespace. I'll put that there. And the secret gets created running the OC get secrets hyphen and open shift hyphen config command shows you the secret created 10 seconds ago as you can see here now that the secret is created we need to tell open shift that you need to use this secret to create all the users mentioned in the secret for that we need to modify the open shifts cluster authentication file so we can run the command oc get auth and this will give the name of our authentication that's known as cluster created 56 days ago. You can do oc get oauth cluster and hyphen oyml to convert this into the yaml format. And we can redirect this into a file known as oauth.yml. You can rename the file to something else if you want to. Now we have the cluster's current authentication put into a file. Now what we can do is we can either directly modify this file, which is a bad practice. I would recommend that you make a copy of the original authentication. And then once we have a backup copy created, then we can modify the authentication. We can open the YAML file and we can run set number, line numbering and set CUC for the cursor column. And now we can add the new authentication here. So we can add the line here, same as earlier, HT password. Then we have file data. In file data, D is in uppercase. Name, that's the name of your secret. So that's user info. Mapping method, claim. What does that mean? It is possible that I'm creating a user John, but the user John is already there because someone else created, created that user in the past. Mapping method claim means that if the user already exists, then OpenShift will give you an error that we can't create this user again because it's already there. Other mapping methods are also available, such as generate, where every user gets a unique name in case they are already there. Then name. So these users will be known as local users. So if someone checks where the user John came from, who was the identity provider of John, that's local users. Identity provider could have been Azure AD or LDAP or Keystone or someone else. And type, that's HP password. The, all of this is case sensitive, so we need to be careful about that. Once the file has been modified successfully, then we can save and exit the file. And run the OC apply command to tell OpenShift to use the changes that we have provided. If the command runs successfully, that means everything is good. And in case there is an error, then something has gone wrong. So we have no errors here. Now OpenShift has a pod running and that pod contains the cluster's authentication. We can run the command oc get pods hyphen in OpenShift hyphen authentication. And here you can see that the older pod is getting terminated and a new pod is getting created. This is happening because you have modified the cluster's authentication. So OpenShift is going to create a new pod with a new authentication. And we will wait for the new pod to come into a running state. Once the new pod is in a running state, we can log in as one of those users and see whether it's working or not. So now we can do, once the pod is in a running state, we can take a look at any one of these users. For example, the RN user, I can do OC login hyphen urn hyphen p my password that's network nuts and i am successfully able to log in into the cluster this is how i can create new users for myself as well as other people who are part of the organization in openshift